Welcome back. Today we're going to do steamed whole fish and we're going to be using mackerel. So why don't we get started. Here's our mackerel and it's been cleaned but it's going to be whole so we want the tail and we want the head and um, we're going to be um, using some flavoring here and uh, it's going to be a combination of some green onions so just let me cut these up, just like that. So you can see I'm just using the knuckles to guide that blade as we kind of feed the green onions right in. Just kind of chopping them finely. And we've got some ginger as well. We'll use fresh ginger, and what we'll do is we'll take about a tablespoon of that ginger, and we're going to smash that. That's fresh ginger. When you crush it like that, it really releases the flavor much more than if you just tried to chop it. And you'll notice you did not need to peel that. We're also going to add some garlic. And I'm going to kind of show you a, a neat way to separate the garlic cloves from the paper. So we're going to put that into a pot and cover it. And what we'll do is just give that a few shakes. What you'll see is that the garlic becomes separated from the paper quite nicely. So let's take three garlic cloves and we'll just smash those as well. And then we'll just combine all of these ingredients. Kind of make a little garlic and ginger pesto with the scallions. Going to be the flavoring for the fish. So what we'll do now is we'll take our fish, and by the way, you, sh you need to use fresh fish. Uh, this doesn't work well with frozen fish. And we're going to make three diagonal cuts right down to the backbone, About evenly spaced. And we'll turn that over. Three more cuts. Get under that fin. Then what we'll do is we'll take this mixture and we'll push that right into the cuts that we've made. Put that on a plate. So we'll just turn that over. And we'll put that into those cuts. And we'll take some of that and we'll put it right inside, the flavor from the inside. And then just kind of put that right on top. Then what we'll do is we'll take a little bit of soy sauce and just put that right on top. And a couple, a couple tablespoons. What we have here now is we have the wok and the 
you've got hot water in there, and it's steaming as you can see, you want that to be hot. We're going to put a little steaming tray here. And we'll put our fish right in there like that. Turn that right up on high. And we'll cover it up. And we're going to want that to steam for about 15 minutes or so. And uh, at the end of 15 minutes, that will be ready for us to eat. Meanwhile, while that's heating up, what we'll do is we're going to heat up some oil. And what will happen is with this oil, is we're, we're going to pour that right over the, the uh, steamed fish. And that will add flavor. And so let's, um, I have a fish here that's already been steaming. And you can see that that's steamed right up. And I can get some chopsticks. Here's the hot oil. And watch out. You have to be careful here because this can this can be quite hot. So this oil is is almost smoking hot. You can hear that sizzling. And that oil really releases the flavor of the fish. So there are a couple of traditions. One is that the head of the fish always faces the guest of honor. And uh, the eye of the fish, actually, if, um, if you eat the eye of the fish, which looks like a little white marble, um, if you eat the eye of the fish, it's seven years good luck. But it only works the first time. And it's pretty easy to serve this fish because it's steamed and it just comes right off. And there it is, steamed whole fish. Thanks for joining us and we'll see you next time.